Uh, welcome, uh, NHS Art webpage. We're going to be doing some tutorials today. Uh, we're going to be focusing on blind contour drawings, uh, kind of what they are, the point of them, etc. So, quick background behind uh, blind contour drawings. They are essentially uh, you're drawing blind, if you will. You're not looking at what you're drawing. You're looking at the object. So, if I were to be drawing my hand, um, I would be looking at my hand and not essentially what I'm drawing. Um, the benefits of that is it's it's connecting your eye to your hand. Blind contour drawing can be really super fun. You can draw any kind of object you want. Um, you can stand in the mirror and draw yourself. We've done self-portrait blind contour drawings uh, in class a bunch. Uh, you can do your hand, you can do an object, you can sit across from somebody. Um, that would be kind of fun to maybe sit with a, a parent, a sibling, etc. Someone you're at home with now, sit across from them, have them draw you without looking and you draw them without looking. You get some really fun results. They are, they are humorous. Um, they're not the greatest drawings, but they can have some style. So the setup is pretty simple. Uh, you can do this at home, uh, computer piece of paper, uh, an object, something, uh, your hand for sure, um, Sharpie, pencil, pen, ballpoint pens, uh, use what you got. So I'm gonna set this up. I've got my drawing paper. I've actually taped it down because it tends to slide a bit. Uh, I've got my Sharpie. I've got my little teeny camera with my rear facing. Uh, I'm gonna prop it up here and I'm gonna draw what I see. So one thing you can start to do, you can focus on an area of the page, maybe start in this corner, work your way around. The best tip I can give you is think of it as one long continuous line and do not lift your pen, pencil, etc. As soon as you lift that in your, your drawing, you're going to lose track of where you are. So the biggest tip with that is to keep your pencil down and just draw what you see. Start, start in the bottom left corner and just man maneuver your way around and just kind of draw from there. So I'm going to slide my paper over here a little bit so I can't see it and I'm going to look at my camera and I'm going to draw what I see. So I'm gonna start in the corner here. Maybe start with the entirety of the head. We start with my ears there, working over to my eyes, nose, and the really the drawing shouldn't take you that terribly long. Uh, maybe another ear here. Hopefully it's in the right spot. Uh, maybe start to draw this beautiful preservation framer hat that I got on. Uh, and I actually just cheated and looked at my drawing. So I'm gonna focus down here. Maybe draw the T-shirt, shoulders, etc. So. That's what I got. So, as you can see, <laughs> looks exactly like me. Um, but you get the basic ideas. You start to learn proportions, where things go. Maybe I have no eyes. My that hat is looking great. Um, but they are. They're super fun, um, and you could do a lot with them. You know, they shouldn't take you terribly long. You can go slower. I went pretty fast, um, but give it a shot. So what is the point of a blind contour drawing? Well, A, it's practice, it's getting you better at drawing, but the main thing is that it's connecting your eye and your hand. So you're drawing more what you see uh, instead of what you think you see. Um, so, and then once you can uh, get that established, you get a really fun kind of drawing. You can have some fun with it, color it in, do what you want. Um, we've done it in class where we've done multiple drawings on a single page and then filled it in. Um, you can certainly do it with portraiture, um, but a good start is with hands. Um, the next kind of step with this is that it's a good exercise, but once you get drawings made, you can crop into small sections, enlarge them and make really interesting paintings. Uh, you can start to fill them in with designs, with patterns. Think of the Zentangle stuff we've, we've done in the past, um, those kind of ideas. So that's just a quick, um, tutorial, if you will, on blind contour drawings. Uh, practice connecting your eye to your hand um, and kind of making some fun drawings. So some, you know, the more you do, the better you get at them. Certainly share your drawings. Um, 
hashtag NAHS Art 3, and we'll see those on Instagram, etc. Follow us on Instagram, NAHS Art 3. Um, and continue to check in here. We'll have some more stuff coming up. So that's it. Uh, nice talking with you. Uh, make some stuff. Cool. See ya. <laughs>